Out to Busick. Busick trying to get around Berenson. Loses the puck. Cleared the center ice. Kept in by Stanfield. Moving through. Drive. Off the glove hand of Wakeley. McKenzie the rebound. Centering pass. Blocked by Berenson. Esposito in the slot. Shot is blocked. Gets it back. Another shot is blocked. Esposito gets it back again. Feeds Stanfield. He drives. And Wakeley this time very smartly ties it up. The Blues have got a lot of goaltenders out there tonight, Don. Darrenson against Esposito on the draw. Puck is loose. Darrenson plays for the Blues. Bobby Orr starts out slowly, cuts right in front of Jerry Cheevers, sees Esposito at center ice. Trying to go around Bob Plager in front. Blocked by Wakeley. Out to Stanfield. Goal! It's one of the thing. The Bruins lead on a power play goal by Freddie Stanfield. And a pretty goal it was. That was a great play. Stanfield, play. that's his fourth goal. You'll see it again right here. There's Esposito. You'll see him move around Plager, but be blocked at the post by Wakeley with help from Talbot. There's Wakeley tying it up there but not completely. There's the puck getting by Berenson out to Stanfield. There's the shot. There's the goal. It's one to nothing Boston. Time of the goal, eight minutes, 10 seconds. Heels away from McDonald and away from Goyette. Feeds back to Ari in the Boston zone. And Ari clears the length of the ice. Bobby Orr on his assist to Fred Stanfield on the Boston goal has set a new playoff record for most points by a defenseman. And that's just part of the story. Here comes St. Marseille. Blocked by Marcotte. In the circle. Across. Shot is won. Pick up Bill Goyette. Marcotte, a good check on St. Marseille. Keenan to St. Marseille. Blocked by Ori. Roberts blocked by Ori. Two key blocks by Don Ari, and the puck is clear to the corner by Marcotte, the length of the ice. And Marcotte's doing a great job out there in this penalty. McKenzie set to come out. The Bruins will be back at full strength, and now are. Here's Rick Smith with Westfall. His shot stopped by Wakeley. Westfall, the rebound, scores! It's two to nothing, Boston. Time of the goal comes at 12 minutes, uh, 13 minutes and 38 seconds. There is determination plus. Let's look at it again. There's Rick. Gets it by both defensemen, blocked by Wakeley, but he didn't tie it up. There's Westfall. Controlling the puck, just wheeling around on the forehand. There's the shot by Picard, who actually took his own goaltender right out of the play. Harry Sinden attempting in vain to get the attention of referee Bill Friday. The whole Boston bench area erupted when the penalty was called. As we've mentioned before, that's a penalty which we've seen all too often this year. They seem to be calling it more in the last year or so than they ever have done before. Uh, I can't understand it myself because the fellow wasn't in the play at all, so it didn't make too much difference. And he's up, uh, he's up over at the bench, but evidently he saw it differently. That's Bill Lazook, number 21, serving the bench minor for the Bruins. Lazook, carried uh, by Hersey the better part of this season, called up for participation, if needed, in Stanley Cup play for Boston. St. Marseille feeds to Ab McDonald. He's got Goyed with him. One minute to go in the period. Goyed. Blocked by Orr. Bobby gets by two of the Blues. Three of them. Out through center ice. Full steam ahead. Past the line. Westfall drives. Scores! It's 3 nothing. A short-handed goal by Eddie Westfall. His second of the game. His third of the 1970 playoffs. He picked that short side and threaded the needle by Wakeley. It's 3-0 Bruins. He's 
He certainly did, Don, and looks as if uh, Westfall can do something more than uh, keep the other guy from scoring. Look at it again on replay. Tremendous strides by Bobby Orr. Look at this pass to Westfall. Right on the stick. The off-wing pass, but Westfall beat Wakeley to the short side, and it's 3 nothing Boston. Face off to Jerry's left. Bruins control it. Dallas Smith against the forechecking of St. Marseille. Stanfield flips it ahead for Busick. Back to Stanfield. Bouncing puck. Arbor taps it back to the Boston zone. Doak is on it. Marcotte broken up at the line by Fortin. Chris back to Fortin. Now it's Marcotte broken up by Chris. Doak to Stanfield. Stopped at the line by Forta. Intercepted by Marcotte. Marcotte fires to the Blues corner. The Blues fans calling for an offside call. Intercepted Stanfield. Debusic right across in front. Marcotte digs for it. To Orr. Drive. Deflected wide. Marcotte in the corner. To Stanfield. Back to the Chief. Broken up by Sabrin. Off the stick of Bobby Orr to the Boston zone. Slick passing by the Bruins. Fails to produce any score. Here's Westfall. Taps it around Flager. And Westfall goes down, and he's hurt. He hit his head against the boards as he went down. And he is hurt. I think he hit his head, Don. Here comes trainer Dan Candy off the Boston bench. A St. Louis penalty coming up to Bob Plager. On the power play. McKenzie trying to feed back to Carlton. The shot is the pass is blocked by Berenson. Or leaves it for Esposito. Pass goes to McKenzie. Behind Carlton, but Espo's trailing the play and he's got it. Esposito around Berenson. Sanderson out front. Goal is thrown up in Boston. A great bit of timing by Sanderson and Esposito. And the Bruins capitalize on another power play goal. Tony, we see Ed Westfall still on the Boston bench, so apparently he's okay and will be held in reserve if needed. This is Dallas Smith. 57 seconds left to Sanderson's penalty. Plays back to center ice for Orr across to Marcotte. Off the stick of Dallas Smith to the Blues corner. Scotty Bowman going with Goyet, Berenson, Ab McDonald up front, along with Larry Keenan and Jim Roberts. This is Keenan. Swept off his stick by Orr. Marcotte spins Keenan into the boards. Far corner, Dallas Smith. Kept in by Roberts. Broken up by Stanfield. McDonald shot blocked by Orr. Swept off McDonald's stick by Marcotte. Here's Berenson. He drives. Stopped by Cheevers right in the Boston crease. It looked as though for a moment that Jerry was almost losing his grasp on the puck and spun over backwards to prevent the puck from slipping into the net. Esposito against Terry Crisp in the Boston zone. Kept in by Picard. Eight seconds left to Sanderson's penalty. Shot goal! <laughs> well, 
Well, we were talking how many faceoffs Derek Sanderson has won. He won the opening faceoff to start the period. Let's see how he does right here. Let's watch him. He wins it again. Rick Smith's shot is wide to the far side. Rebound Dallas Smith. Sanderson's got it. Bouncing puck. And now it's Jimmy Roberts. Clearing to center ice. Rick Smith's got it as both teams are back at full strength. Off the skate of St. Marseille. Sanderson flips it in on Wakeley. Wide of the St. Louis net. Talbot. Flips it ahead for Goyette. Popped over his stick. Now it's Talbot. Almost broken up by Sanderson. Carlton's got it. Shot is wide. Shot by Dallas Smith is tied up. Sanderson shot. And the light goes on. It's 5-1 Boston. And for Sanderson, his second of the night. Here it is again on instant replay. Apparently, Wakeley thought he had the puck tied up, but it slipped loose. You'll see it. There's Dallas Smith across to there's Sanderson just tapping it loose away from Wakeley. The upraised stick and Sanderson has scored his fifth playoff goal at 5-1 Boston. Stanfield on the draw. Gets it to the corner for Don Ory. Throwing back at full strength as Orr is on. He's got the puck. Lays it for McKenzie. He's on the gallop trailing his Orr. Shot off the post. And Talbot gets the rebound. Blocked by Stanfield. Gets by McKenzie all the way back to the Boston line. Don Ory has it. Feeds back to Bobby Orr in the corner. Orr sweeps it by Terry Crisp. Wheels away from Boudria. Still controlling. Putting on a show for the Blues fans here in St. Louis. Stanfield. Checked by Chris. Ahead to McKenzie. He and Busick crisscross. Behind the net, it's Gary Sabrin. Flips it back for Talbot. Now it's Jim Roberts. Boudria across to Sabrin. Talbot flips it into the Boston zone. Behind the net, it's Bobby Orr. To Busick as they crisscross. Busick's got it starting out. To McKenzie. Back to Busick on the give and go. He's controlling. Cut through, straight down the middle. Shot, goal at 6 2 Boston. And for Johnny Busick, his ninth playoff goal, and what a pretty goal it was. Don, that's what you call uh, persistence. Yes, Here it is on replay. There's Busick cutting straight down the middle. On the backhand, getting it by the diving Wakeley, and it's 6 2 Bruins. That's Don Ari. He's in the box for boarding at 5 11. And keep in mind, if you will, the Blues finished second only to the Boston Bruins in most power play goals during the regular season. Both the Bruins and the Blues broke the old record for regular season power play goals. Ecclestone hurries back. Now it's Jimmy Roberts intercepting in front of his own net. Ecclestone across to Sabra. Now it's St. Marseille getting around Orr. Right across in front, it's right off the stick of Dallas Smith, I believe. He was trying to clear, and St. Louis gets on the scoreboard first in this first of two games here at Boston Garden Night. Time of the power play goal comes at 5 minutes and 32 seconds. So it's Roberts for hooking, Berenson and Cashman for roughing, all three of them coming at 11.44. Bruins going with Esposito and Busick as their, uh, and Stanfield, along with Bobby Orr. The free skate is for the Blues. Noel Picard, Bob Plager. And the lone forward is Tim Ecclestone. This is Esposito. Back to Stanfield. Out to Orr. Back to Stanfield. Moving through. Drives. Hit the post. And came right out again. Or to Busick. Cross for Stanfield. Gets by him. Stanfield keeps it in. Esposito controls. And it's cleared by Picard. Out 
Almost had a tie hockey game on that shot by Stanfield. Or gets by one man. Chris. Controlling. Bobby takes it behind the net. Out to Busick. To Stanfield. Takes the shot. Back to the Chief. Back to Stanfield. Cross to Orr. Orr drives. Busick. Shot. Picked out by Hall. And cleared by Terry Chris. But Hall is pretty sharp in there. I can see why they saved him for tonight's game. He's been... Uh, he made some great stops there so far. It was a big surprise that they didn't start him Tuesday night in St. Louis. Instead, they went with Ernie Wakeley, who's young, 29, shot by Orr's. Love save, Hall. Clears it by Busick, almost on a stick. Stanfield into Esposito. Shot save. Busick scores. It goes right up. And Busick continues to be red hot in this Stanley Cup final for the Chiefs. His 10th playoff goal of the year. Gets by Hall in the corner. McKenzie. Stanfield back to McKenzie. Busick trying to dig it out, but Talbot flips it around the boards for St. Marseille. Or dumped by Ecclestone, and the puck is back in the corner. Picard starts back for the Blues. Pass was way behind Sabrin. Ari off the stick of Busick. Cut by Picard, but he's broken up by Talbot. Talbot's been in the National Hockey League 16 years. He's been in the Stanley Cup Finals 12 of those 16. McKenzie, shot, go! And it's 2-1 to one Boston. Now Cashman tips it ahead for Esposito, but he can't control it. Billy Plager back to the Boston zone where it's Orr. Cross to Ori. Esposito, center ice. Dumped by Jimmy Roberts. Here's Cashman. Shot. Go! It's three to one. And for Wayne Cashman, his fourth goal of the year. Here. Back to Ori. Stopped at the line by Talbot. Blocked by Esposito, but back to help out is Red Berenson. Berenson stopped at the line by Hodge and then Ari. Here's Esposito trying to squeeze along the boards. He's tied up by Talbot. Espo's got it. Throws it across in front. Ari drives. Hits a post. That's the second time in this series that Ari has hit a post. And both of them would have beaten Hall. This is Picard out to Talbot. Across for Gray on his off wing. Now it's Cashman starting back. Pulls a feint, back to Hodge, back to Cashman. Out to Esposito, shot stop. Cashman's got it. Fires, another great save, a shot, go! Oh! Jackman has scored the second goal of the night. Play underway. The first team to score wins the game. Here's Picard. Out to Tim Ecclestone. Back to his own line to Jean-Guy Talbot. Talbot out to Keenan. He missed it, and Bobby Orr flipped it out at center to Sanderson. Sanderson shooting it into the St. Louis zone. Racing in is Carlton for the Bruins. Centered and it's loose in front, and Talbot cleared it. Here's Don Ori a shot. That's blocked by Talbot. Now Sanderson a drive, and that one whistled wide. Ori for the Bruins, tied up by Ecclestone and Berenson. Westfall rolled it in front. Sanderson tried a shot that was wide, and Keenan cleared it, but not out. Bobby Orr behind the net to Sanderson. Orr! Bobby Orr!
and the Bruins win the Stanley Cup. And now we have the St. Louis Blues and the Boston Bruins congratulating each other. There's Bobby Orr, the man that scored the winning goal. The roar from the crowd. Just listen to them. The roar is deafening here in Boston as they bring the Stanley Cup out onto the ice. And Busick skates around with the cup to the roar of the crowd. Johnny Busick, the great veteran left winger, has that trophy high in the air. And the crowd loving every moment of it. There they go, the Boston Bruins skating off with the Stanley Cup. Johnny Busick having it high over his head. What a moment for the Bruins and their fans. The time of the goal, 40 seconds of sudden death overtime. Bobby Orr set up by Sanderson to win the game 4-3 to three for Boston and to win the series four games to nothing. And we should add a word or two about the St. Louis Blues, Bill. They put on a valiant effort here today, and uh, you and Gordy Howard talking about their pride. They have certainly exhibited the kind of play, the kind of spirit that is a championship type of spirit. It's pretty difficult to uh, to describe, and, and, and it's the thing that when I was here, Teddy Green was injured, and, and, and once we got the center ice, I can still remember looking over the bench and seeing Teddy standing on the bench with. Tears come on, and it was it was something. And then of course Johnny Busick skating around, like growing up, we saw that so often on television, uh, carrying the Stanley Cup high over the shoulders of one of the perform or Maple Leaf Gardens and the Olympia in Detroit, and following Johnny around with the cup, pretty special. And today it's really funny. Today I often I, I hear that oh, I, was, I was one of the guys that came over the you know they're adults now of course so I was one of the little little rugrats that came over the glass <laughs>